All right, so in example four, we've got a girl writing a multiple choice quiz, quiz, and she's got six test questions, four possible answers each, multiple choice. How many ways can she complete the quiz, assuming that, of course, she answers every single question? Well, here are our six questions, and for each of them, we're showing our four options. So we've got four times four times four times four times four times four, which is none other than four to the power of six, so 4,096 ways to complete the test. In example five, this is a typical question as well. The score at a halftime for a, for a soccer game, we'll say it's European football, for a soccer game is five to two. How many different scores were possible after the first quarter? So in this game, we have to think back, okay, what could the score have been? And so we say, okay, well, here's team one, and let's talk about the options that team one has, and here's team two, let's talk about the options that they have. Well, team one scored five goals by the half. So at the quarter, they could have scored none. They could have had one. They could have had two, three, four, or five. So they've got lots of options. They've got six options. Team two, on the other hand, they've only scored two. So at the quarter, we don't know what the score was. They could have had zero. They could have had one, or they could have had two. Of course, this corresponds to six options for team one times three options for team two. There's 18 different scores that would have been possible after the first quarter. In the last part, in the last example, student council is forming a committee with three distinct positions, president, vice president, and treasurer. The student council members include four grade 12s, five grade 11s, three grade 10s, and two grade nines. How many different committees are possible? Well, let's get some things straight in our head. First of all, we have nine juniors, or we have nine seniors, four grade 12s, and five grade 11s. And we have five junior council members, three grade 10s, and two grade 9s. So there's 14 total students. Nine of them happen to be from a senior grade, five of them from a junior grade. And so how many total committees are possible? Really, with no restrictions, we could have 14 options for president, 13 options for vice president, and 12 options for treasurer. Of course, we can't repeat because we're assuming that a person can't do more than one job. So we'd have 2,184 total different committees of president, vice president, and treasurer. How many committees are possible when there are two senior students and one junior student? Well, here we have to consider three cases. Case one is that the president is a senior, the vice president is a senior, and the treasurer is a junior. Case two would be president senior, vice president junior, and treasurer a senior. And case three, the unexpected case perhaps, the president is a junior, the vice president is a senior, and the treasurer is a senior. So how many options then will we have for in case one for the president being a senior? Well, we would have nine options for that. Then we would have eight options because we've already used one senior, so we'd have eight options in the vice president spot, and then we'd have five options for treasurer. Um, because there's five junior level students. The same pattern would follow then, but in a different order for case number two and for case number three. And when we multiply and add these up together, we get 1,080 different committees where we have two senior students and one junior student. <clears throat> Example seven. Eight dogs are competing in the Doggy Olympics. How many different orders can the eight dogs finish the race? Well, because a dog can't finish in two different places, this is the permutation. There's eight spots for the dogs to finish. We have eight choices for first, seven for second, six for third, and so on and so forth. 40,320 different ways that those dogs could win the race. How many different ways could gold, silver, and bronze be awarded? Well, here we have eight ways that we could award the gold, seven ways that we could award the silver, and six ways that we could award the bronze. And there would only be 336 different ways that we could award these three collars. Here's our standard notation, number of total finishes, and the number of medals. One of the dogs is your chihuahua named Chuck. How many possible finishes would include Chuck winning a collar? So 
Here we need three cases. Let's take a bit, let's take a look at the case where Chuck wins gold. He no longer has he's no longer an option. He has to win the gold. How many dogs could win silver, bronze, and then finish in fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth? Well, we would have seven times six times five times four for a total of fifty forty. What about when Chuck wins bronze or when Chuck wins silver? It's Chuck in a different position, but it's the same number of possible finishes. So because these are mutually exclusive cases, Chuck can't win silver and gold at the same time, or bronze and silver at the same time, etc. We add these cases up, and we get 15,120 ways. How many possible finishes would include Chuck not winning a medal? And of course, we could calculate the case where Chuck finishes fourth, plus the case where Chuck finishes sixth, plus the case where Chuck finishes fifth, and so on and so forth, all the way down the line to when Chuck finishes eighth. But it's easier to do an indirect method. So we would have basically the total number of finishes that are possible. And if we want to find out the number of ways where Chuck isn't going to win a medal, let's subtract the number of ways when he does win a medal. And that's going to give us the ones where he doesn't. So if the total number of finishes was 40,320, and we subtract out the number of ways that he finishes with a medal, we end up getting 25,200 ways that he cannot win a medal. And if you'd like to prove that to yourself, try it the long way and see that it's exactly the same thing.